This video is brought to you by Langoni Cues. Hi pool players, it's the Terminator. Welcome back to another episode of Terminator Tips. In this third episode of the Safety First series, we're gonna look at a drill called the Prison. I'm gonna walk you through the rules and I'm gonna show you a bunch of examples that come up all the time. Your lesson is gonna start right now. Okay, here we go. The rules of this drill are pretty simple. We have a ball on the spot and the cue ball on the head spot as a starting position. You take two balls in your hand and you're gonna make a little wall of these balls anywhere on the table. We have to hit minimum two rails with the cue ball. Like the other drills, we don't have to pass the middle of the table at least once this time. That's for the other two drills. Check out the links in the description and here above, and then get a full snooker behind this wall of balls. So for example, I could overcut this three ball, bank it down to the short rail and send the cue ball around and make a little wall of balls right here. Let the cue ball come here, end up with a full snooker and I would score one point. My advice is always look for a roll shot that's much easier to feel and judge than a draw shot. If you accidentally pocket a ball, it just comes back on the spot. You lose your inning. If you scratch the cue ball, you get minus one and it comes back on the spot. Only on the starting position are both balls on the spot. You can play this together, like a race to 10, race to 20, 30. If you play this by yourself, you can, for example, do seven ahead. If you score three good ones in a row, you're on plus three. If you mess up two, then you're on plus one. So you have to get seven in front. It's also a really good challenge is, for example, on the last two shots, if you get really good at this, you can take one ball away and only use one ball as a blocker. Really good challenge. Now I'm gonna show you a bunch of shots that come up all the time and that you need to master to start winning more racks. Here's the opening shot, and of course, this one comes up all the time because it's your starting shot of the drill. What's a good choice is to put a couple of balls here by the long reel, Make sure you use that space from the long row. You don't have to put them like this. Use the space that you have to make the little prism wall as big as you can and increase your chances. Going three or four rails around and getting a full snooker on the three. Here's a nice little three railer that comes up a lot. One, two, three, and we put the balls here so we can use those as a funnel. We can use that same kind of shot and go the other way. One, two, potentially a third rail and put the balls in this area here. Here's a sneaky little one that's much overlooked. We can hit the three ball on this side, go towards the bottom rail, and crawl up behind these balls by hitting the second rail here first. Lots of room actually. It's the first rail and the second rail, we can use that ball there. Here's two versions of the same position. I can come off the right side, use a couple of rails to come here. The three ball goes towards the left long rail and I can put up a nice wall of balls there that I can use. Or I can hit the left side of the three and send the cue ball two rails to get behind the wall from that side.
Here's another shot that's actually much overlooked, but very doable. We hit the left side of the three and send the cue ball around a couple of rails with inside spin and get behind the wall of balls there. You're also allowed to kick at the object ball. So here's a great example where we can use that. I'm going to come off the bottom rail, hit the three. Three goes behind the wall that I've set up. Cue ball hits the long rail again and crawls behind the wall of balls. Overcutting the object ball is also very handy to be aware of. Instead of going this way with the cue ball, I can hit the inside of the three, just like three cushion billiards, sending the three ball that way and going one, two, three, behind the wall of balls there. Very doable, and you must master this one. And finally, a very classic example, hitting the three ball on the left side, going long rail, short rail, and try to get as close to that wall as you can to get a ball in hand, perhaps. I'm going to demonstrate a little five ahead run to show you guys what it looks like. So here we go. Okay, I got it done. Not easy to do. This also took me about 15 minutes to get a good little run for you guys, five ahead. Just wanted to show you the rhythm, the process of putting the balls down. It's really going to strengthen your visualization also of angles because you have to place the ball in a certain spot that you think is good. So you're going to get more feel for that. Great drill. Try this out. There you go, pool players, a clear overview of all the shots that come up, examples, and this drill is going to make you a monster. If you're interested to fine-tune your safety game even more, there's links here in the top. One drill is called the Four Squares, and another one's called Big Brother, Little Brother, all designed by Alex Laley. And please don't forget to check out all the other great content on this channel. There's a ton of tips and lessons here uploaded weekly, 
And if you're interested in the mental side of the game, head over to Terminator College and check out all the courses that are waiting there for you. Take care.